Alright, so I got this program started. Um, I've got my FStream library included. I got a little variable for a choice. The user's going to have two choices off a menu. One is to read the file contents from a file, and two is to quit. You're going to input their choice. I haven't dealt with the choices yet. I just have this file rating stuff sitting here. So whatever file it's going to read in, I'm just print the stuff out on the screen, and it's going to keep this whole thing going um, while I haven't chosen to quit. So let's add in a little if statement for the choice. So choice equals one. We're going to do some file stuff. So I'm going to get this and move it all over. Oops, too far. Okay, tab that over. Um, and if they don't choose that, then it's just going to quit. Okay, so here's what I want to do. Uh, I'm kind of bored with having to hard code in the name of the files. And maybe this we want this program to work with many different files. And so I'm going to let the user tell me the name of the file. So if they choose option one, I'm going to let them tell me the file name. Um, I'm choosing this variable name. It makes sense to call it file name. That's not a magic word or anything, so you could really call it whatever you want, but you want meaningful variable names. Okay. Um, now here's what you're doing, gonna run into. It's dangerous to let the user type a file name because they might make a typo or something. So I'm gonna keep them trapped in a little loop um, that keeps going so long as um, this thing isn't working. So I'm going to make my if stream variable right here. I'm going to call it in file. And I'm going to keep this loop going so long as this is failing. And so it's going to have them enter a file name. Um, and I'm going to use get line because that could be more than one word. And this is coming from the keyboard still, the name of the file. So I'm going to use cn. And I'm going to read that into this file name variable. Okay. And then I'm going to make an attempt to open it. So in file.open file name. Okay. And if it's successful, that's great. They'll get past this. And if not, um, they will be trapped in this loop continuously trying to open the file. Okay. And then I'm going to read it out from it. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm going to make sure that I close it up because if I don't, I won't be able to use it again from the menu. So let's run this and see if we got it working. Oh, what did I do wrong? I called this input and I called it in file up here. Okay, let's run this again. All right, so let's read file contents. I would like to read from sample.txt and they do have to give you the file extension. This is the text inside sample.txt. Let's see. Yes, there it is. Sweet. Okay, let's try a bogus file name, bogus.txt. You'll see over here that that file does not exist in my folder, so it should ask me again. Sweet, it did. So let's go surprise.txt. And here it is. This is the text inside surprise.txt. Were you expecting something better? Okay. Um, so a couple things. You'll notice I had a double prompt right here because I forgot my darn cn.ignore. So let's see. I got my cn for the file name right here, my get line, and I came off the menu with a regular cn. So I'm going to need a cn.ignore right here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. To prevent that from happening. Okay. So that is how I can read in um, from a file that the user typed. And I just need to make sure that when I'm done dealing with one file, I close it up so that if I want to open it again and connect the stream to a different file name, then I can.